Hello Comets! Welcome back to my living room library. Mrs. Simpson here with some of my friends, Bear and Rabbit and the Big Bad Wolf and Penelope. You might notice I have a lot more books behind me. I seem to be having a lot more books in my library, which is a good thing. And today, I would like to share with you this book called Kiss, Kiss, Yuck, Yuck. And the author of this book is Kyle Mewburn. Now, if you look closely at the front cover, you will see there is no big black letter. Not like in this book, Found, where there's a big letter Y. The reason is because this book does not come from the part of our library at Broderick that you guys can go and choose books from yet. It's from where the older kids, year one and up. So next year you'll be able to go there. Now this book you need to have some parts for just you. So when I say kiss, kiss like this, I point, you have to go and when I go yuck, yuck, you have to go yuck, yuck. Okay, let's practice, ready? Kiss, what are you doing? Right? Kiss, what are you doing? Right? And yuck, what are you doing? Yes, and what are you doing, yuck? Yes, very good. You don't have to say kiss, kiss, or yuck, yuck. I'll do that. Okay, so here we go. And you'll see was always pleased to see Andy. Heidi, hi, Andy, apple pie, she yelled. Hello, Aunt Ilse, he replied. And then he got ready to run. Now, why would Andy run away from his aunt? Let's find out. Well, you see, Andy was too slow, and Ilse's arm swooped out and grabbed him in a squishy hug. Andy wriggled and held his breath, but the sloppy kisses came just the same. Okay, here we go. Kiss, kiss on the left cheek. Kiss, kiss on the right cheek. Yuck, yuck, Andy thought to himself. Did you do it? Yuck, yuck. When Aunt Ilse next came to visit, Andy hid under his bed. Where's my Andy apple jelly? cried Aunt Ilse. He lay as still as a stone. Oh my, cried Aunt Elise, look at this toy truck driving by himself. <gasps> what toy truck? Andy just had to have a peek. <gasps> oh, there you are. What a surprise, cried Aunt Elise as she grabbed him. Andy squirmed and he shut his eyes, but the sloppy kisses came all the same. Ready? Kiss, kiss on the left cheek. Kiss, kiss on the right cheek. Yuck, yuck, Andy said to himself. The next time Andy hid in the chicken house under a heap of straw. Aunt Ilse came up the path, stomp, stomp, and opened the door, squeak, squeak. said Auntie Ilse. The chicken has laid an egg as big as a football. And 
Andy lifted his head to look. Rats! Had he been tricked again? Got you? And the applesauce cried Auntie Ilse, picking him up. Are you guys guessing what's going to happen? Get ready. Andy grunted and grizzled, but the sloppy kisses came all the same. Kiss, kiss on the left cheek. Kiss, kiss on the right cheek. And what did Andy do? He didn't do anything yet because his auntie said, you taste like feathers. He's thinking to himself, yuck, yuck. Every time Auntie Ilse came, Andy tried to hide. And every time she found him, she gave him sloppy kisses. When he climbed a tree, she climbed up after him. Ready? Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. And what did Andy do? Let's just do it. Ready? Yuck, yuck. When he hid in the pig pen, she climbed over the fence. She didn't mind the pigs, and she didn't mind the mud. Howdy doodle, and the apple crudle, she yelled, where's my hug? This time it's just one kiss. Mighty kiss on the left cheek, mighty kiss on the right cheek. And Andy just said, yuck! Oink! Went the pigs. The next week, Andy crawled under the house among the spider webs. Auntie Ilse didn't like spiders. He waited and waited all afternoon, but Auntie Ilse didn't come. Oh, wonder why she didn't come. Where's Auntie Ilse? Andy asked. Oh, she fell off a camel in Australia, said his father. A camel? I could see falling off a camel in Turkey, but a camel in Australia? Poor Elise, she's broken her leg. And Elise didn't come the next week, or the next week, or the next week. The chickens laid their eggs, the pigs oinked their oinks, and Andy waited at the window. No Auntie Ilse. He seemed to be missing her. One day, a taxi stopped by the gate. The door opened and out came two crutches and a leg in a plaster. And then... Auntie Ilse yelled Andy. He flew through the door. He ran along the path until he got down to the gate. Hello, Andy Angel Cake, Auntie Ilse called. And what do you think is going to happen? Andy's arms swooped out. He grabbed Auntie Ilse and he gave her two big sloppy kisses. Wait, he kissed her on the left cheek. Ready? Kiss, kiss. He kissed her on the right cheek. Ready? Kiss, kiss. And then 
What did he do? Hug, hug. Got you, he said. What a wonderful story. So we found out something about Andy. He pretended that the kisses were yuck, yucky, but really he loved his Aunt Ilse and he missed her kisses. So I hope you enjoyed that story comments. It's one of my favorite stories to read in the library and let's hope that Maybe soon I'll be reading you guys' stories back at Broderick in our library. All right, be well and be good till the next book. Bye!